<laughs> Dr. Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> uh, instead, the only one who got attacked was Dolph. At least for any damage. Uh, Kane, take care of that archer real quick. Um... What level is this archer? He shouldn't be too much of a problem. He's level 5, he's got 22 HP. Just use the Iron Lance. I mean, Kane does do alright damage. Yeah. That's good. Um, you might as well do the damage you can to this guy right here. That's gonna do 14, I believe. Although Merrick now is in their range to get attacked. Like now, uh, that armor knight can move out of the way and then Merrick can get attacked by somebody else, but he's, he's good. He can only get attacked by one other person and there's no way they'd kill. Can Julian reach the door? Yes, he can. Actually, wait, isn't there an armor knight in there? Yeah, but there's no way he reaches all the way to the door. What's his movement? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We can open up the door, and Marth has two rapiers, I'm pretty sure. He can handle that guy. No problem. Marth, I'd assume you can take a step in there. Protect Julian. That's important. Abel can, uh... Just hang out over there. Ogma will catch up with him. I guess Jagan too. Actually, Jagan can go the same path Marth is, just to get to the boss a little quicker. And we're really set. None of these guys really have to do much of anything, but I do want Lin to at least get some kills by the end of this level, just to get some XP. Or at least do some damage. George doesn't have to do much of anything, although I'm pretty sure he's close to leveling up. He's got 89 XP, so one more kill will level him up. Maria can hold back. Is that Harden there? Yeah, uh, go ahead and just hang out at the other side of Maria there. Is that everybody? Oh, uh, these guys in the, in the jail cell. Yeah, uh, Dolph has taken damage, but he's still doing fine. Let's just move Boa over here. And that's it. That's all we need to do. If Dolph gets attacked by this, uh, the Magician again, that's fine. Unless he gets crit or something, but... It's not like we could move him out of his range anyway. Oh, looks like the Armor Knight can reach... Uh, Kane. The Iron Lance might not do anything to this guy. It's a smart move on his part. Oh, no. It, it was not. Okay. What is the Magician going to do? That's the important thing. This guy is still just being an idiot. But what is the Magician? Is he going to try to get more damage on Dolph? In which case, we definitely need to heal him once we get that open and get Maria caught up. He is going to do more damage on Dolph. And that's actually not good, because he also moved himself into a position where Kane probably cannot reach him. Alright, there's Magicians coming up over here. Okay. Uh, Abel can take care of them. Jagan too, maybe? Oh, actually, Jagan's a little low on HP. He only has 20 HP. That's incredible. Agma has 30. Uh, Julian barely has less than that. Huh. That's surprising. I guess it's because since he doesn't get many stat growths, that means he also isn't increasing his health at all when he levels up, so he must be at the same exact health he was when we started the game. That's an health higher. That hurts. I know because Abel actually has pretty good stats. And that actually did 9 damage to him. Ooh, we got Nellfire. We can give that to somebody. Oh, we have to store that. Okay, uh, instead of trying to catch Merrick up with everybody, before we end this level, we should send him to the inventory and try to pick up that elf fire. That's a very good spell. This guy just has a regular fire, and he's only level 1, so that's, that's nothing to worry about. Ogma can go down there and help out if he can. Actually, can... Or what, is, what is Abel's resistance? Zero. Does anybody have any resistance? I need a resistance ring right now. Yup, he moved to the perfect, perfect distance where he could attack Dolph. Oh wait, we have a javelin. 
I didn't re- I- I- Kane has a javelin? Huh. Well, alright. That's good. Uh, Merrick will get to the door eventually. Dolph, how much damage has Dolph taken? He's at 8 HP, so he's gonna have to take a step back. Even though I'm pretty sure Thunder only does 7 damage and we've now blocked here. In fact, if we move McKellen over here... Yeah, yeah, those guys can't even reach anybody anymore, except for Kane. Which might actually be a bad thing if Kane takes too much damage, because his defense isn't the best. But, uh, at the very least... Uh, that, that guy's already taken some damage, and Merrick is heading in there. Marth! You got two rapiers, might as well use one of them on this guy. He's only level one, so... He is the upped version of the Armor Knight, he's a general. So he's gonna do some damage, or not. Oh, wow, his accuracy is worse than I thought. Okay, that takes care of that. Uh, let's get started on these chests. First things first... Give me that, uh, give me that Orion Bolt. There we go. Actually, Jagan, why don't you move in here just in case something goes down? It'd be nice if you could reach, at the very least. George, I have nothing for you to do. Lind... Uh, move up, I guess. And this is about it. And Maria, you're gonna need to heal some dudes up there once those are all done. Is that most everybody? Yeah, Thomas, Bo, and Medea are in good areas. They're fine. I hope there's a store next level. I actually, um, part of the reason I knew the Orion Bolt was there was I went ahead and replayed a few chapters, including this one. Wow, why did he, why did he do that? He, he literally put himself in a perfect position to be attacked where he could not attack back. That was really dumb. And the, the bow dude, or the, the magic dude didn't even attack. I guess we have the javelin so he knew it would kill him. Actually, no, 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 go for the door. These guys are being stupid. Actually, if we switch up the weaponry with Kane, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take out this guy right here. We're gonna take him out. And then the archer is either gonna attack us, do minimal damage, and then die. Oh, store that thunder. Do minimal damage and then die, or uh, he's just gonna do nothing, in which case, who cares? Dorky, use. Alright, these guys need to start coming out of here. McKellen, go ahead. Actually, do they even need to really... Uh, we, we already technically have them. It's not like we were recruiting them. We just need to heal up Dolph, really. Dolph and maybe Boa. But, I mean, Boa is okay. So there's no reason to bring him out there into danger. Jagan, we can just have hang out right here, I guess. Hopefully that wasn't the furthest Maria could move. Okay. We're good. Harden... Go down here, I guess? I don't know. Ogma, take out this guy right here for some nice XP. Oh, actually, we're gonna want Thomas to move down. We're gonna want to give him a bow and give him that Orion's Bolt. So that when the time is right, he can use it. Level up for Ogma, very nice. A weapon level, a speed, and an HP. That's not bad. He's at 31 HP now. He will actually... 13 HP, that's not great. We're gonna have you... Actually, do you have a Voldenary? Oh, you do, okay. Just hang out here and use one. An HP, not bad. Uh, these other chests... Martha's full on items. Hmm. Who doesn't have many items? Lind has three. Pretty sure George has three as well. Yeah, um... Hmm. The thing about Marth being full on items is that means anytime we open a chest here, that could mean we send that to storage when we don't want to. Uh, item... Go ahead and give that to George, just to hold on to. And then Marth... Give the Voldenary to Julian. Julian actually has quite a few slots. So that way you have room in order to grab items. Lind can come down 
here, and that's about all we need to do. Actually, no, Thomas couldn't get moving. Okay. As you might notice, uh, Thomas, he looks a little familiar, almost like he used the exact same sprite as Sedgur. Hmm. In fact, I'm pretty sure it was the same case with Violand and, uh, Mathis. Or not Mathis, uh... Yeah, yeah, Mathis. Who, coincidentally enough, they both... No, no, Violin's good, he's the w I was gonna say they both died because all of Harden's men have died before, but... Violin's the one that's left standing. Of course, not including Harden himself. Okay, situation is taken care of up there. Uh, Marth, open up the first chest. What is inside? Okay, it's gold, that doesn't take up an item slot, we're good. George, just start heading back and you're gonna give that to Thomas, as well as one of your bows. Just so that Thomas can do something. Not the silver ones, though. You want those. Uh, now, I was gonna have Marth take care of this dragon, but he's busy taking care of those chests, and there's... A Julian's already here. You can already reach that there door. So there's really no reason to have Marth go back around to deal with the, the dragon. Manual ring? What does that increase? Does that increase your movement? Your... I don't know. We'll keep an eye on... Uh, I guess Marth, since he's already a max level and he doesn't promote, we'll use it on him. And then, uh... We'll see what increases before and after. If I miss it, I can check the footage always. Talk about it in a later episode. Uh, what level is this here, Momkut? Well, three. What is his movement? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. This is dangerous, but we're gonna put Ogma in his range. He's promoted. He's at practically full HP. He's got the steel sword equipped, which is his best weapon right now. This is the best I can do without just waiting and doing nothing, which I don't want to do. Because if that were the case, then I would just wait for Marth to come up and reach, but we don't want to do that. Go ahead and, uh... Is there any reason to, I wonder? Because here's the thing. There's no more enemies over here. They're not going to be attacking because they don't have any weapons. So... There's really no reason to waste a low spell since it doesn't give us any XP. In any other Fire Emblem game, we'd be like, oh yeah, free XP for the healer, plus we give our character a more safer position. Yeah, heal them up. But in this game, where there's hardly any reinforcements, and the healers don't get any XP from leveling up, it's completely pointless to take the opportunity to heal him. Anyway, this Momkut is gonna go ahead and go for Ogma. 10 damage, ow. How much do we do? Nothing. Straight up nothing. We do... And the Steel Sword's gone. Okay. Uh, this man is an issue. Uh, Abel also has a Steel Sword, but why would that be any different than the one Ogma used? What else is here? Harden. He also just has a Steel Sword. His movement is six. We just need to try and get out of here. That's the furthest Ogma can go. Is that safe from this guy, ignoring other characters? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, yeah, that's safe. So everyone just get behind Ogma. Lind can definitely do some damage with her magic, but uh, we can't just send her out right next to the dragon and have her do damage when I don't know if anybody else can. George more than likely can do damage. Because it's a bow, and it's a silver one. So go ahead right here, and you're gonna use one turn to... Uh, actually, the steel bow doesn't have that many uses left on it. Would it even mean much to him? First, start off by giving him the Orion Bolt. He probably can't use the silver bow, because he's not promoted. So just give him the steel one. Plus, why would George use anything else? He's... he's... He, we're fine. <laughs> Uh, Merrick, we want to go back and actually grab one of the spells in it from the inventory. In fact, why don't we have all this group go back to the inventory at the beginning of this level and try and get some items. So Dolph, 
uh, McKellen, Boa. I know for a fact we just got a Thunder and an Elfire into that, uh, into the inventory area, which could serve as good items for him. Uh, McKellen, I don't know what I'm gonna give to him. Medea is a Paladin, also with 20 HP. She's pretty much in the same boat as Jagan. Um, I suppose I can give her an item, like a, uh, like a lance of some sort. Although that all depends if we have any. Abel, or no, that's Kane. Kane does have a lot of items, but I want him to have most of those. Actually, wait. We gotta get these chests here. The boss wouldn't attack us, and these guys just have live spells, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna have uh, Julian open up the door. I clicked on chest. I'm a fool. And that's going to inventory, too. I want the, sil I want the silver sword. Oh, this is really bad, because now Julian is in range of that guy with the silver bow, and if Julian dies, Marth will have to go all the way around. Here's what we'll do. We'll put Marth over here. Does Marth have an open slot? Yes, he does. Might as well grab this chest with him. Thief key. We want to give that to Julian. Julian, just don't die. That's all we need from you. Just don't die. I needed to select item, then select thief key, and then use it on the door. But instead I selected chest like a fool. Just, Julian, don't die, please. How? Oh, he only attacked once. Okay, okay. That guy's going back. Okay. Oh. Okay. There's no wrong option right now. Julian, open the door with the thief key and then Marth murder this guy with the rapier I guess that doesn't kill Marth why couldn't you crit Julian's dead he's dead unless he's just, this guy just decides to go for Marth Why doesn't that kill? Does the Steel Sword do more? The Rapier, I think, because it costs more and it's like his signature weapon, I think it'd be a better choice. Uh, this is all up to the AI now. Either the AI will kill Julian or try to do damage to Marth. I'm gonna hope he goes for Marth like an idiot. And he totally can. Both the sides next to him are open. He could totally move one space to the side and attack Marth. He could totally do that. I'm really hoping he does that. These guys are still just dealing with a dragon. But they got two, two well-trained archers down there. They should be fine. Plus Lind with her magic. Eric's movement is not great, but that's okay. Some of these guys we might just want to wait to buy. Uh, I think the armor knights will wait to buy items with. We'll give Boa the thing that we just got since we know it's there. It's the thunder spell, and we'll see if there's anything for Medea since there's a lot of items in there. And uh, generally, paladins can use a lot of different weapons. We just have to hope. That either they won't attack Julian or Julian will dodge. What's it gonna be? They did nothing. Oh, they went for the healing, of course. 